Across the country, schools teach thousands of courses to millions of students. To keep track of these courses, schools assign numbers or course codes to each course. If different schools use different codes for the same course, it can be difficult to compare information. You can begin to see the challenges when you compare a course that two schools have named differently. To address this challenge, the National Forum on Education Statistics developed the School Courses for the Exchange of Data, or SCED, which provides common and comparable course codes. SCED is a voluntary classification system for school courses from preschool through high school. All schools and districts maintain data about student coursework, and with SCED, this course information can be more easily managed and compared. As students move to different schools, districts, or states, SCED can help with the efficient exchange of records. State education agencies have applied SCED to develop course catalogs that are used in data systems. They have also used SCED to standardize reporting, allow educational data systems to communicate, and facilitate student credit transfers. Local education agencies and schools have used SCED to establish teacher-student data links, identify data for local district analysis, research, and state and federal data collections, understand the types of courses offered by the district, and provide colleges and universities with standardized and understandable transcripts. SCED is also used in education research throughout the country. What does a SCED code look like? SCED is actually five building blocks that go together in a set order. The foundation of SCED is a five-digit course code. The first two digits indicate the course subject area, and the next three designate the course number. Part three of the SCED identifier is the course level, which indicates the course's level of rigor. Part four is available credits in Carnegie units and part five is the sequence of the course. Now we have a complete SCED identifier for Algebra 1. The SCED identifier changes slightly for prior to secondary courses in which no Carnegie unit is available. In those cases, a grade span block is used instead. The SCED framework is flexible enough that states and districts may choose to add additional course attributes that are not part of the SCED identifier, like whether a course offers dual high school and college credit, an indicator of whether or not it is a designated STEM course or the setting or medium of delivery for the course. These voluntary five-part preschool through high school SCED codes, combined with optional attributes, streamline course management and comparisons across school, district, and state levels. For more information, visit the SCED webpage to download the latest version of the codes, access additional relevant resources, and see how voluntary common course codes can benefit your school, district, or state.